So we're in the water cube with Patrick. Can you show us your badge and tell us a little bit about you and who you work with? Yes, I work with the water and sanitation program at the World Bank. I'm mm -hmm. based in Nairobi, Kenya, okay. where I coordinate the water and sanitation program activities. Okay, and how has the conference been? The conference is fantastic. The, the opportunities to meet people and discuss topics which are pertinent to expanding off and, and, and giving access, especially to the low income areas mm -hmm. uh, of cities and, and the rural societies, uh, have been excellent. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about the work you do. In Kenya, the push right now is, is to reform the institutions and the sector to better match with what the constitution has given, which is devolution of the entire political architecture. And in addition to that, the services to the poor, which we work together with other financial institutions such as the World Bank Credit and, and other multilaterals to ensure that there is application of working solutions for the urban and rural poor. Okay, and uh, how has the constitution been changed? Or, uh, are there important lines there? Absolutely, there's a, there's a section that now everybody has rights to water, mm -hmm. there's rights to adequate sanitation, mm -hmm. uh, and, and with these rights now well enshrined the constitution, mm -hmm. we have to look back now and see how best this can be served given the limited resources. In addition, now water and sanitation has been given two counties which are now the devolved system of government of the, of the country. Uh, so we'll need to look for ways in which these utilities that are all over the country and rural systems can merge now with this devolved governance. Okay. And this right to water and sanitation, uh, how are people interpreting it or do they know that they have this right? It, that's a yes and no. Uh, that's part of our work to, mm -hmm. to make sure that they are aware of this fact. Mm -hmm. But the way the constitution was written was, was in a way that we also need to educate the citizens that this is a progressive right. Mm -hmm. In other words, what needs to happen now is that the, go the, the, the government and I'd say the public infrastructure will now have to prove to the citizenry that they have put in place measures and the looking for finances to progressively attain these rights. Now, that's going to be an iterative process. So each and every year, there has to be an interrogation of how far we've we gone, where, why are there no services in an area, and what's in line or what's been put in place to make sure those services do 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 get attained. Yeah. Okay, well thank you very much and I'm sure that the project will go fine. It's a pleasure. Thanks.